morning guys and firstly welcome back to my channel so today's video is basically going to be it's kind of like a new series that i'm trying to start um i think it's something that kind of i definitely want to do so i like my kind of four days of eating probably on wednesday um and then this kind of on a um sunday basically it's going to be um kind of like i would say fitness tips um and kind of my kind of top tips with kind of um, with different things let's say growing your glutes um tracking your calories maybe um staying consistent um going to fat loss phase those kind of things um obviously previously i literally did one a couple of weeks ago touching on five things i wish i knew before i started my journey this video here um i'll leave the kind of link maybe down below so today's video basically is inspired by the fact that i am now if you follow me on instagram you'll have seen this and um, if you don't you should be already basically i am 12 weeks um out from flying to america which i am so excited for how and i go in there we're meeting up with kind of um the navigation team oh my god i'm literally buzzing i've obviously been since prep like it's been almost 10 months i would say um and since i've like dieted um so i've had 10 months really focusing obviously getting my health back to just like a good point um and then really focus on growing um and i feel in a really really happy position now where i would like to lose a couple literally a couple of kilos like two to three kilos for this holiday nothing drastic at all i am feeling good now but i'd like to kind of feel a little bit kind of lean that you could say um nothing drastic though like it's literally it's literally two to three kilos over three months um and that's very doable i did 16 kilos in the space of seven months i can 100 do two to three kilos in three months um but yeah so basically it touched it kind of stemmed from that because i am now kind of starting that fat loss phase and um, i literally started a couple of days ago so today is thursday i kind of the week half and i fully decided on wednesday that i'm going to be doing it um and kind of half's gonna be kind of helping me through it and um, we're gonna be doing it together in the sense of kind of writing my program doing all the stuff ourselves so we're coaching ourselves basically um and yeah i feel like any i mean i'm ready for kind of this next this next part of my kind of chapter also this honestly is my new favorite thing i had to show the youtube if you struggle with water this is my quick top tip get yourself one of these anything with a straw fantastic like i am drinking so many of these my skin is benefiting from it i just feel good for it um no it's not bad i wish um but yeah i literally got like sugar-free squash so let's get into the video i'm ready i'm ready for this so five things you need to know before you are starting a fat loss journey number one you do not need to cut calories crazy low so quickly and i think this is kind of this is where a lot of people go wrong they'll like they'll be like okay i'm going to fat loss phase um i need to cut calories instantly now boom they're all gone um and kind of i'm literally let's say reducing calories by three four hundred calories it's not realistic you have to take this journey slow um, and with kind of the calories so for myself i was obviously on 3.5k calories um I was sitting around kind of the high 76 kilo mark, low 77 mark, um, and I literally cut my calories by 200. Of course, you have to bear in mind that my calories are quite high. Um, and of course, this is like per dependent on me, so please do kind of take that, that those calories are set for me, um, and they are personalised to myself. Um, so yeah, my calories were cut by literally 200, um, and it's person dependent. Maybe you could start by cutting like by 50 to 100 calories, but I would not cut crazy low, and that's one thing that kind of a lot of people would do wrong. At the end of the day, you still need to keep those calories at a good point, that you kind of, you have energy, you can still progress with the overload in those training sessions, and you're feeling good. Keep that protein intake the same, like it doesn't drop just because you're dropping kind of calories, you still need to keep that protein intake the same. I'll probably keep mine at that 200 um, gram mark, and just keep it there um, and kind of not move it and i'll bring down some carbs so i was on 520 grams of carbs i'm now on 468 grams of carbs to be honest i, I haven't really noticed a difference um literally but my calorie like i said my calories were so high um so yeah i would gradually bring them down of course you don't want to kind of drop fat crazy low you still need those fats in there especially being female if you are um and it's one of those things that you kind of if you drop quickly your energy is just going to flop um, and you're not going to be feeling great you need to take it slow don't use all all of your tools at once and this is the biggest thing that i will kind of always say don't just do everything at once um because at the end of the day you have to take it slow so with the calories don't drop them too quickly take your time take the kind of uh, make sure you're checking in obviously weekly to actually see how your body's responding um to obviously the drop in calories if that's what you are going with so yeah that's number like literally number one do not drop the calories too quickly number two you can still eat your favorite foods daily and this is so important if you want to go out for food you can still go out for food there are ways you can kind of work around that being mindful so let's say for example you are going out to an italian 
as an example. Um, what you can do is Monday, Tuesday, a couple of days basically, you could literally pull out 50 calories from a couple of the days from the week. You've then obviously got more calories kind of that weekend meal maybe, and alternatively on that kind of weekend meal, you don't have to track it, but what you could do is be like, right, if I have maybe this meal, I could save X amount of calories for this meal. It's a case of being mindful um, and just understanding that of course, you're not going to be completely accurate, but you can still eat those favorite foods if you enjoy going out. Half and I still gonna be going out, um, like we're not stopping going out. We may reduce it slightly because we were kind of, we have been in that thing or we've been going out pretty much every single weekend, having a drink most weekends, which is very unlike us. Um, but we are kind of, I'd say tiny it down a tiny, tiny bit, but literally nothing drastic. Can still eat your favorite foods daily. I'm still eating my biscuits daily, you know, those ones I always eat, the, the kind of milk ones, like the square ones. Um, still eating my, my baby bells, like I love these things. Got my spaghetti bolognese in there. I'm gonna have garlic bread at some point if I want it. If you're following that kind of meal plan, you are going to at one point get so bored of that meal plan, I'm 99% sure of that, um, and you are then just going to want to deviate from that plan. And realistically, if you actually do a fish macros, you'll learn about the foods along the way as well, and you can include those favorite foods daily. Of course, it's everything in moderation. You still need to have your fruit and veg in there and have that balanced diet, but you can have your fruit and veg, but also still have like a square of chocolate. Like that is fine. Okay, so number three, don't do too much too soon. And this is a really good one. Harv and I were like discussing this earlier when I was kind of like writing my notes about what, it, what I wanted to kind of touch on. And we were kind of referring with this to the cardio. Um, and of course, I've touched on the nutrition, I've touched on kind of including those favorite foods. And now it's a case of actually touching on kind of your cardio and your expenditure, basically. So with the expenditure, of course, you've got your things like your steps and your cardio. Now, when we say kind of don't do too much too soon, it's one of those things that let's say, well, previously I have been doing obviously three times 20 minutes cardio um, and also 10K steps. Now, if I went, right, I'm doing an hour of cardio every single day, 20,000 steps, I'd be like, oh my goodness. Like, it's, it's not realistic. You have to take it slow. Don't kind of add in crazy amounts of cardio so quickly. So what I have done, um, obviously, I, like I said, I was doing three times 20 minutes cardio. I'm now doing four times 20 minutes. So it's literally just an add-on of a tiny bit of extra cardio. And then also steps now, Previously 10k, I'm aiming for the like the 11k mark right now. So it's literally a 1k increase, nothing drastic at all. It's one of those things of don't do too much at once because you'll firstly overwhelm yourself. Secondly, you probably won't even really want to do it. Um, and you have to make sure you're kind of enjoying that process along the way and being able to adhere to it. Adherence is the main point here that kind of, if you can't adhere to what you're setting, it's pointless. Like you may as well bring it back down a notch and go, actually, what can I adhere to and what can I tick the boxes for? Okay, number four. This is this is honestly such an important one. Like do not expect and think your strength will drop like that. Like it's not going to happen. And this is, this is one of those things that when people think they're going into a cutting phase, they're like, oh my goodness, my strength's gonna drop. I'm gonna lose all my strength. It's all gone, all everything's gone. No, it's not. Like, as long as you take it slow, like, you should still be able to be progressing with your overload. You should still be able to be pushing those weights up and focusing, obviously, on good form, good tempo. Realistically, you're not in kind of, I assume, majority of people that are kind of watching this are not in a prep. Of course, if you're in a prep, that is completely different. But if you're not in a prep, your calories should not be that low. You kind of should not have kind of crazy low energy where you can't still progress. You have to still focus on actually wanting to progress in the training sessions. Like, yeah, I'm now focusing on cutting, but I'm gonna go back into the gym, like going into the gym this afternoon, focusing on getting stronger um, and ticking those boxes and doing everything to the best of my ability, trying to push for an extra rep if I can, or increasing that weight if I can. And that's where kind of logging those lifts is so important. So you can then obviously focus on that progress, progressive overload um, and actually pushing yourself. Because majority of the time, what will happen is people will think that they're going into a cutting phase so instantly like that, their strength's gone. Um, and I think it's just one of those things that it's obviously seen a lot on social media where people are like, my strength's cut, like gone. Um, when realistically, a lot of the time, it's a lot of people actually talking themselves out of it. Um, and actually they've been cutting for like a couple of weeks um, and their kind of strength will not like decrease like that. So I will go into that gym with the mindset of I can get stronger today and I will, even if that's literally by one extra kind of rep, um, etc. So really do when you are, if you are going to a fat loss phase, don't kind of expect your strength to be gone like that. You have to be realistic and actually focus still on that progressive overload and getting stronger. Okay, number five, you cannot expect results like that, like quick. So this is why I've set myself a very realistic kind of goal. And this is where kind of realistic goals are key. Um, so I know I can drop more than two to three kilos if I really wanted to um, in the space of 12 weeks. At the end of the day, I can, but I actually don't want to. Like I have been realistic. I know I still want to go out. I still want, still want to go out and get drunk occasionally, have fun, like enjoy myself um, and not kind of um, be putting too much pressure on myself. That's why I've given myself like 12 whole weeks 
to lose two to three kilos, which in the grand scale of things, I can do, I know I can. Of course, it's very person dependent with their starting position, how much muscle mass they have, um, obviously calories, cardio, there's so many different things, timings, lifestyles work. Yeah, you have to be realistic with those goals. I'm not I'm not expecting myself to lose inches on the waist um, instantly, like it's not gonna happen. Um, I'm not expecting to lose in like kilos within the first couple of weeks, it's going to take time. Um, and yeah, there'll be probably hard, a little bit of harder days, um, and that's okay, like that, I'm putting myself in it at the end of the day, um, and I'm excited for that challenge. So you do have to be kind of realistic with those goals and don't be disappointed at the end of the day if your kind of weight is not dropping look at other factors as clothes fitting um kind of uh, clothes loosening up are you feeling good in yourself if you are feeling good in yourself and the scales are not dropping who cares like you're feeling good in yourself and that is the key thing to kind of note there so i hope that kind of has helped um they are like my five obviously things to know before entering a fat loss phase um and yeah that is pretty much it i'm gonna be obviously documenting my kind of journey on my um on my Instagram, on my YouTube, TikTok as well. If you haven't already, please go follow my TikTok. <laughs> I'm trying with it. <laughs> I am trying very, very hard. Let me know kind of what other posts like this you kind of want to see. I have got planned. I've actually got myself a notebook. Basically, I asked you guys what you would like to see. Um, and I've written down my kind of like favorite ones. What I'd kind of tell my younger self, how to grow like kind of muscle, but staying relatively lean. Um, obviously on a deficit, which I have just done and um, help with consistency changing habits and incorporating new habits with our starting i'm very excited for this i think that it's kind of definitely me i can chat as we can tell i can chat for a prolonged period of time <laughs> um i can just ramble but yeah so thank you guys so much for watching i will catch you in the next video please remember to hit the like button turn on your notifications and i will catch you guys next week